The start of this process is to prepare your wood and to develop your designs. We're using our bandsaw, our belt sander, sticking the designs onto the wood and then using the pillar drills to drill out all of the holes that will be used to do the pierce work on each design afterwards. Once we've done those holes, we sand the back of each project to make sure that it's nice and flat and easier for us to cut out on the scroll saw. We put a new blade in to ensure that the scroll saw is performing to its best potential. From here, we're focusing on our first project. And as always, we start off by doing the pierce work first of all. The method we are using on this first design is line art. We're also then using stack cutting as a method, with the top layer of wood being a beautiful piece of juniper from La Mancha in central Spain. We then sand our first design off, put a little pin badge on the back to be able to clip it to your clothes, and that finishes the first project. A dog design pin badge. Now we're on to catering for the fan of the cats. So once again, we're using that line art as the method, cutting all of those internal cuts first of all, and then proceeding to cut out the surrounds. Slightly different with this second design, we're gonna put a backing plate and that will allow us to be a little bit more creative with our Starbond black super glue afterwards. So we stick that backing plate onto the cat brooch, cut it round using the bandsaw and then sand it all off on the belt sander. As we mentioned then, we can use our Starbond super glue to fill in all of the gaps. We put the brooch or pin badge clip on the back, once again using the Starbond, and then sand off any excess glue on the belt sander. So the first two projects, we got our cat, we got our dog, but again for the pet lover, our third brooch is a simple paw print design. We cut out all the internal cuts again, we then cut out the surround and use our router just to shape the edges of the paw print to give it a nicer finish. Another technique you can use is to hand carve the edges of those pores just to take off the sharpness and to refine the finish slightly. Moving away from our pet theme projects, we then go on to looking at a few emblems. So the first one is a Scottish thistle. After the preparation has been done, we go on to the scroll saw, we do the internal cuts, we cut out the surrounds, and we then combine it with our hand carving skills to shape the thistle, bringing out the beautiful colours and contrast that you get in that juniper and create that thistle shape. Again, using that Starbond super glue, we stick the brooch clip to the back and proceed onto our next project. This next project takes inspiration from music because it is a pair of musical notes. We're combining those skills of hand carving and scroll sawing together, creating a unique and simple brooch design. Back to our emblems, and we're on to a little Irish shamrock. Probably the simplest of the projects because you've got no internal cutting and no real carving. So we cut out the basic shape, sand it all down on the belt sander, and then stick that brooch clip onto the back. Returning to our musical theme, we're now cutting out a treble clef design. So we do all of those internal cuts on the scroll saw, cutting that out on the three layers at the same time to give us three finished cuts and proceed across to the workbench where we can hand carve our treble clef design. We make use of the belt sander once more 
as it refines the finish on our design. Use that Starbond super glue to stick the brooch badge onto the back. And then we can proceed across and focus our attention on the finishing of all seven brooch designs. The method we use for finishing is to add three coats of shellac sanding sealer, rub it down in between each coat, and we also on occasion add another layer of linseed oil mixed with beeswax. Let us know in the comment section which one of those is your favourite. If you're interested in having a go at making any of those yourself, remember to check out the link in the description to the designs that are available for free on our websites. Thank you again for watching, and as always, we'll be back again soon with more videos.